Fasten your seatbelts, baby. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here at robertanton.com coming to you with your no frills, the voice commentary from a singer. Tonight is the top 12 they performed and let me tell you, there's a bug just flying all over the place. I was just waiting to kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Carson offered love and support to the people of Paris as the show opened tonight and before they ran the preview clips. It's the top 12 performing for the public vote and the coaches no longer have a save and only one artist will go home tomorrow night. We started out with Team Gwen. She had Braden Sunshine do Renegade by Sticks, and Gwen told him in rehearsal he has to come out and command the stage and have a lot of body confidence when he hits the stage. So he lost the glasses again and started out strong with this. He was a little tentative in his stage movements but there was nothing tentative about his vocals. He was giving it all he had and on top of his vocal production, I think his sound could have been fuller but this sounded pretty good for his age and he had some good notes with a little voice crack at the end. Adam called him really talented and he loves watching him perform. Blake said, I quote, this kid can do anything, unquote, and told him he should do a country song next. Pharrell noticed he infused some cool runs into the middle of the song and was hitting the notes and not missing them. Okay, that's good, right? <laughs> Team Adam was next with Amy Vachel. She did Hotline Bling by Drake and Adam told her to sing it her way and have 100% confidence and also gave her notes on some of the motivation in singing the song. Then he got up and played the guitar and sang a little bit of it with her and Pharrell also gave him some instrumentation notes and then Adam told her to have an emotional breakthrough. And I said last week on her video that she would need to be more current if she's going to stay around but I didn't expect her to be this current, right? <laughs> <laughs> she picked up the guitar for this and the opening sounded a bit like a mistake even though I know that's how the song starts she it just did you know if I wouldn't know the song I would have thought she made a mistake her voice sounded good on this and I liked the melodic liberty she took with the melody but I didn't feel like she had connected the lyrics to anything very personal through the first half or a little more of the song but she seemed to get into it more as she got to the bridge and she became more emotional and I could even see it shining in her eyes Blake said there had never been a more elegant and classy performance of a song about a booty call on TV. And Gwen, <laughs> and he said Gwen sang it to him on The Tonight Show and had all the coaches laughing and busting a gut. Pharrell was trying to hold it together and everybody was laughing so much and said Amy always makes songs her own. Gwen said she thought it was gorgeous and better than the version she'd done on Fallon herself. Next we had Team Pharrell with Mark Hood. He did Against All Odds by Phil Collins. And Pharrell told him to strip down the song more and sing it a little straighter. He also told him it was an English hymn and not an American gospel song. Then he also told him to sing it with his heart. So there was just a little stumble out of the gate, but he was right on pace with nice emotion and his voice sounded good as he went through the song. I just loved how his voice vibrates even when he's not going into a run. And this was the most vocally stable his performance has been to date, you know, without doing any melismas and stuff like that. Not a lot, I should say. I felt this performance for him and he seemed very sincere as he finished the song up on stage. Gwen said she saw a more calm, sensitive side of him tonight and said he's full of heart and spirit and called him one of her favorites. Adam said he can really feel that he wants this badly and said it's what's most inspiring about him. Team Blake had Emily Ann Roberts do Blame It On Your Heart by Patti Loveless and Blake asked if she could relate to the song and told her to watch her body language, not to smile too much but not to look mean. Then he sang her through a part that she was having trouble with. So she really told the story in this song and gave it sass and so many little great and Reflections, things that only come when you really relate to something and, and you can relate it to someone or something that you know. This was a wonderfully nuanced performance and really had me rooting for her. Gwen said she feels like she's graduated from The Voice and is already in the country world and she also called her adorable. Adam agreed with Gwen and said she's grown up before her eyes and is ready. Team Gwen was up next. She had Karim Bukowski do Titanium by David Guetta featuring Sia and Gwen said she loved the lyric for her and colored her hair. So she also did some arrangement changes for her on the song. And I was on the fence as she started this song out. Some of the sounds in her lower range weren't quite there, but I like some of the changes as she went along. She brought some of it up a little more. She really soared when she got into the more driven part of the song, and she sailed on the big notes. She really has a big voice and uses it well. Um, the ending was pretty fierce. I really enjoyed that. Blake told her to keep thinking that she's not cool because that is what is really cool about her, and told her she nailed the hardest song. Pharrell asked her how it felt and said, it was really cool to see her live the moment for herself. 
And if you think I'm living this moment for myself, make sure that you thumb up the commentary and let me know that you are enjoying it, that you appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys talking about the show with me, watching, listening to what I'm saying, the crazy stuff that comes out of my mouth. And I thank you so much for your thumbs. Make sure to comment down below. Team Blake was up next with Barrett Baby. He did Right Here Waiting by Richard Marks. And Blake advised him to pronounce the first word so that we can understand it and told him to stand still behind the mic and just sing it out. So Barrett really moves there behind the mic even in the smallest moments of the song, it's actually very enjoyable for me to watch because it shows he's feeling the song through his whole body. He sounded really good and pure on this and I love some of the overtones I heard when he opened up for the big notes when he really opened up ah, and gave these wide vowels. He did take the mic and address the audience. He went away from the mic stand while he was performing and it seemed very natural and sincere and I enjoyed this quite a bit. Adam said he loves it how he attacks the song and said it shows his determination and passion. Team Pharrell next had Maddie Davis to Who Will Save Your Soul by Jewel. And she came in with her guitar and then decided to lose it after she thought that Pharrell might be thinking she should lose it. So she also asked about the arrangement of the song and they gave it a little more of a reggae spin and Pharrell also told her, if you have a ball, people will have a ball with you which is very good advice. If you're enjoying yourself performing and doing almost anything and someone's watching you, they tend to get uh, pulled into it and they enjoy it also. I like the look of the stage as she started this and she looked different in that outfit than she normally looked. The arrangement had me tapping my toes and I like the little spoken asides in the song and the way she delivered them. Was she Sam hunting? Did you guys see the, the country music awards? She was Sam hunting, wasn't she? Oh, she's so confident on stage and I even noticed in her walk downstage she was just very just in her element doing her thing. This seemed like a wonderful conversation and she really wailed away nicely on the end. Though I don't know about that, the, like the very last part of it was so abrupt I was just kind of surprised. Gwen said it was fun to see her in a different way and also said she didn't know Maddie had such a bold voice. Blake says she snuck up on him in the competition and said her changing it up made people focus on her and made it new again. Tell me if you enjoyed the way that she unfolded this song uh, down in the comments. Please, I really want to hear what you have to say about the way this song went. Team Gwen was up next with Jeffrey Austin. He did Let It Go by James Bay. And Gwen told him in rehearsal that the dynamics were too strong and that he should use the stage and tell the story to help him show confidence that we haven't seen him use yet. So as soon as he started singing while walking, I saw this like in a music video or something. His falsetto is so beautiful and this also really showed off his chest tone which is also very good. I wrote it's ethereal and he has such great transitions. I felt like he was really into this though I felt like he needs to be a little more purple purposeful on stage sometimes with his movements he kind of like wanders here and there but he really gave a great vocal performance here he was emotionally connected and vocally excellent Adam called his voice unique and powerful and said he's their greatest dream on the show Blake congratulated him and called his voice so strong and his pitch unbelievably perfect and I noticed something different and Gwen mentioned that his hair is dyed I was like oh okay that's what it is team Adam was up next with Shelby Brown she did in color by Jamie Johnson and Adam was trying to get her out of her head in rehearsals and she started crying so he gave her a big hug and he gave her a little pep talk and she pulled it together and gave us some big notes right there in rehearsal. So she started out sitting on a high stool and just relating the story. Such a nice tone and a meaty sound. I am really loving her look. I actually noticed her makeup. I you don't pay too much of that much attention but she looks so clean and fresh. This girl has a perfect voice in my opinion. Solid low and mid range notes with a lot of power and great control. She really sails on the, the big notes and in, in her upper range. She sang the spit out of this song and was totally into the story the whole time. I didn't feel like she was being extra showy at any point. An excellent performance. Blake said there was a moment when she got ahead of the band, but said she came back with a powerful note and made up for it. Team Pharrell was up next with Evan McKeel. He did This Is It by Kenny Loggins. And Pharrell told him that he wants him to do whatever is going to make this a natural feeling performance. So Evan got to start at the top of a high platform and he took to swinging his hips behind the mic stand and closing his eyes. I thought he had them closed while he was walking down the steps and was worried that he'd fall but he made it down safely. He was jumping around the stage and seemed to really be enjoying himself. It was a little goofy but it seemed less contrived than last week and like he was really into it. Near the end of the song he was really working hard to get out those notes but he finished out strong. Gwen said there was something really free about him tonight and said she said wow three times out loud. Next we had Team Adam with Jordan Smith. He did Great Is Thy Faithfulness, an old hymn and he was getting choked up in his 
this pre-reel while he was talking and I was getting choked up with him singing in the background. You can hear him singing in the background while he was talking. Adam advised him not to use the band and told him how to dress for the performance. So he started this out a cappella, and I was already tearing up, y'all. <laughs> I was fighting it, but his voice was just so pure and sweet and angelic. He finally started playing the piano, and it was like an altar call. Sang cry boy! I wrote sang cry boy! He didn't let the emotion take him away from a wonderful vocal production and ended with a really nice falsetto, but I was about to bawl like a baby. <laughs> and I got chills and just, oh my goodness, this is like, I've been on the verge a few times with Jordan, once with Jeffrey, and once with someone else, I forget who it is, but he just had me break down on this. All the coaches stood for him. Adam went to give him a big hug while the audience was going crazy. Blake talked about having a heavy heart the last few days and thanked him for the performance, calling it beautiful. For real, advised people to go to iTunes and buy the song right now. Oh, what did you guys think of this performance? Did it touch you? Woo! Let me tell you. And in the pimp spot of the night, Team Blake had Zach Seaball. He did My Love by Little Texas. And Blake sang Footloose while Zach acted it out in rehearsal. It was very funny. Then Blake also sang along with him to help to learn the song because it's an old song and Zach didn't know it. And then told him to find girls in the audience and sing to them and also take their hands. So they brought back out the steps from Evan's performance. Did that what it look like? That's gotta be the same platform. And Zach seemed to be kind of styled like Elvis. He had a few questionable notes in the beginning of the song but he had a nice smooth and easy vocal production also. I think he also needs a little mic technique work because he pulled the mic away a few times and we lost his sound and then he had a few bad notes. This seemed sweetly sincere though I thought it was a little spotty vocally. Pharrell said his range is crazy and called him a professional. Gwen called him natural and seasoned and effortless and said she felt like she was watching him at an awards show. Adam said he wanted more of the elvis -y stuff but said Zach showed us something different and more subtle. And that's it! Oh my god, I thought it was gonna take me forever to get through, so it didn't take that long. Okay, tomorrow night is the elimination show at 8 p.m. It's only one artist that's going home. What did you think of the show tonight? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know also by saying stuck around that you stuck around. Um, I really want to hear your comments, what you guys think. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for your thumbs and for sticking around. I will see you tomorrow night. Oh, also let me know if you want me to start doing the reaction videos uh, when people are going home. I usually post those on my Robert Anton Vlogs channel. Uh, so let me know if you want to see that this year. Alright, I'm out. Peace.